Dr. Sanjay. Thank you. Shukrani sana Larry. Um, kwanza nataka nichukue nafasi hii nimshukuru Mheshimiwa Samia Suluh Hassan Rais wa Muungano wa Tanzania kwa kutukaribisha. <laughs> Na mshukuru ndugu yangu Evariste Ndaishimie na pia ndugu yangu uh, Rais uh, Mwinyi na wote ambao mlio fika katika kikao hiki um, mtansamehe Kiswahili changu si kizuri sana lakini naona nitangangana tu <laughs> kwanza Uh, nataka nishukuru Mheshimiwa Rais kwa kuchukua nafasi na kuungana nasi katika kongamano kubwa la um, Climate Change Summit ambayo ilikuwa Nairobi na wakati ulikuwa pale ulinipatia maagizo ya kwamba nije katika mkutano huu uh, na nimeambiwa ya kwamba maagizo ni instructions kwa hivyo sikuwa na la ziada ili ila nifike. Um, nyinyi majirani zetu mkitaka kutuangamiza mnasema tuongee Kiswahili. Na ndio hapo tunapata matatizo. Lakini nimekusikia nimekusikiza nimesikiza taarifa yako mheshimiwa rais am um, kwa makini sana na kufuatilia yale mmetueleza na pale pia nikisikiza nikapata msamiati wa Kiswahili katikati pale kwanza nikapata kujua ya kwamba tunaweza kuchochea eh, eh, kuchochea kilimo biashara Kule kwetu uchochezi <laughs> Sana sana ni wanasiasa wanafanya uchochezi <laughs> Lakini nimeona kumbe uchochezi pia uko na positive ya kwamba unaweza kuchochea kitu kizuri na ikaendelea Pale pia nimepata kuelewa kwamba um, kuna mabadiliko ya hewa nilikuwa nafikiri ni mabadiliko ya mazingira so hapo nime, nimepata kuelewa sasa nitaifuatilia vizuri kwa sababu wakati mmoja nilisema mabadiliko ya mazingara sasa jamaa mmoja ukutaka Tanzania akaniambia mazingara sio Mazingara ni mambo mengine. Ana karibiana na uchawi sijui na kuelekea upande hiyo. Eh, lakini pia nikasikia umetueleza na nakubaliana na wewe mia kwa mia. Kwa muda mrefu tumekuwa walalamikaji. Walalamikaji. Nimesikia hapo. Lakini niko na malalamiko kidogo wacha niseme kwamba pia nimesikia kwa taarifa yako umerudia azimio azimio hao watu walikuwa na azimio sasa nikapata kidogo wasiwasi kwa sababu kule kwetu azimio ni mambo mengine <laughs> <laughs> Azimio ni chama ya upinzani iko na fujo kweli. <laughs> Lakini hata hivyo eh, na, nimeelewa tena kwamba azimio kumbe yanaweza kuwa ni mambo mazuri ya makubaliano. <laughs> Alafu mwisho eh wacha nimsaidie Kiswahili changu ni bora kuliko ya eh, Lari mtu wa kutoka kijiji yangu huko nyumbani. 
amesema hapo ya kwamba mnatuzungumzia na Kiswahili eh, Kiingereza ambayo sio kizuri na sisi tunaongelesha Kiswahili ambazo sio kizuri vile alikuwa anataka kusema ni kwamba mnatuzungumzia na Kiswahili sanifu na sisi tunawazungumzia na Kiingereza bora, bora. Tafikiri tumekubaliana kumekubaliana kufikia hapo uh, but uh, but your excellency, let me say the following. Ilikuwa inausiana na chakula. Gerama za chakula. And it was a very big debate na in Kenya. Ilikuwa, so this forum is Kwa hiyo, konga in proper context. Because it speaks to a very important kabisa. subject. Inaongea, not just globally, not just regionally. Sana. Even in Kenya, it's a very important subject. Lakini hata kwetu uko Kenya ni madam um, sana. It is an na, important subject because it is not something we can do, sio we can live without. Tunaweza, you know, we can look, we can live without many things, we can live without technology, we can, have, we can fail to have uh, air time and many other things, but food is something very emotive. And therefore, it is important as leaders, working all the other stakeholders, to think, to plan, and to do everything possible to make sure we get it right. And this forum, therefore, brings in context the importance of the subject around food and food assistance. And um, I want to just say two things. Because Mama Samia has uh, spoken uh, for almost Madame all of us, and my colleagues of also um, have, uh, have, uh, have spoken, to, have the spoken to the issues in the best way, in the possible. Best way possible. Let me just say two, things. Say two there things. things. There are two things that are important, that are from, important where from where I sit. Number one is how do we increase productivity? And number two, how do we bring youth into the equation? I think those two issues you know, encapsulates what I think should inform our thinking going forward. About productivity, let me say three, three things about productivity. How do we increase our productivity? How do we assist our farmers to produce more and to produce much more efficiently? Na Number one, fertilizer and seed. Mbolea, the provision of fertilizer and seed Upe, is very important. It must be accessible, it must be affordable, and it must be available. What we did in Kenya this year Kenya, is that we registered 5 million farmers Tulisajili, and we distributed fertilizer online mbolea, so mbolea that we eliminate brokers, Ili we eliminate conmen, we eliminate people, middlemen who normally should change farmers ambao and farmers end up with fertilizer that is too expensive. Wanajikuta, wanapata mbolea, and because masara. of what we did, Na, kwa we ya reduced kifanya, the cost of fertilizer from about ya $50 dola msini, a ton to moja, less than $20 a, a ton. Kuwa, ta, dola you will kwa speak with your moja. colleagues in Kenya across, Mta and they will tell you that's Kenya, what we did. And because of that, we increased increase hiyo, our fertilizer uptake. Kuongeza, U, 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 to u, now 280,000 tons, about 5 million tani, tons in just the last season alone. And I have a witness here utulo, because uh, Yara, who spoke earlier, Yara International, kabla, 
ya ra international mwakilishi wake alikuwepo alikuwa ni mmoja kati ya mmoja wa wasambazaji wetu ambaye alitupatia hizo alitusambazia hizo mbolea moja 